I did it. Nice. <laughs> so this thing's been trending on the internet recently. Can you guys do this or not? Let me know in the comments. For real though, and the real reason why I came to this video, today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this. back to another tutorial. I hope you're all having an amazing day. It is so nice to see you guys all again. I hope you're all killing it out there in the world and making it happen. So I've been thinking, and this happened to me recently as well. We all have those days where it's absolutely beautiful outside and we can't wait to go out on an adventure. Clearly today isn't one of those days since I'm wearing a beanie and it's really dark and gloomy outside. Nevertheless, the skies are blue and the weather is warm. You've got your water bottle. Let me just do that again. You've got your water You've got your water bottle, finally got it. <laughs> your sunscreen, your hat, and of course, your camera. You head out to catch some sun and see some spectacular sights. You get your camera out, plan the perfect shot, and get right into it. The model is killing it, and you're stoked with how the shots are turning out so far. You look at the LCD screen, but you can't really make out how well the photos are turning out because of the glare from the sunlight, but you trust your instinct, and the photos seem to look pretty cool. You finally call it a day and continue to enjoy the beautiful weather, getting some ice cream, tanning on the beach, and maybe even going for a swim. What a day. It's been so good. You feel satisfied and can't wait to get home to whip out the memory card and start editing those beautiful photos. You copy the files, finally open up Lightroom and what do you see? Blown out photos everywhere. But, but I had it all figured out. That damn sun. Luckily, we can still save them. Here's just a quick tutorial on how to edit those pesky, blown out, super bright sunshine photos. Let's get into it. All right, so jumping straight into it, these are my select photos from the other day where Quinn and I went out to Boerkop in Cape Town and we were shooting some very harsh photos in direct sunlight. But I think we managed to make it work and get some really cool images. All right, so before I get into this tutorial, I just wanna mention that there are two ways of going about this. Either you use the contrast and harsh light to your advantage or you try and correct it in editing. I'm just gonna go through both of them really quickly and show you how I would do either of them. So just to start off and what probably most of you are looking for is how to correct photos taken in really bright sunlight. To make an example of the correction method, I'm gonna start off with this photo of Quinn where her skin is a little bit more overexposed than the other ones, but I shot in raw so it's still savable. If you are shooting in direct sunlight in very bright highlights, please make sure that you are shooting in raw so you can bring that back if you need to. For example, I can bring the exposure all the way down and her skin won't be a solid white block. If you do overexpose somebody's skin and it is blown out for instance, then you won't be able to bring the exposure down and you'll see that it stays as white pixels. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do about this. Luckily, this one is still salvageable. So just to start off, I'm gonna bring the highlights all the way down and we can see how much of a difference this makes on her forehead and her chest. It goes from that really overpowering white to a regular skin tone and we can actually see her skin. Then I'm just gonna bring down the exposure a little bit more just so we can expose this picture properly. And then in light of correcting this image rather than embracing the harsh contrast, I'm actually gonna bring the contrast a bit down on this image to around minus 40. We can bring the shadows up as well and then to compensate for this, bring the blacks down so we don't lose the shadows in the photo completely and make it too gray and washed out. From there, the rest of the picture is pretty much yours. You can get creative with it, bring the vibrance up, bring the saturation up if you will, bring the clarity up. This is all your choice and I have tons of other tutorials on how to customize these settings to get the look that you really want. I'm just gonna add a quick tone curve to this, bringing up the highlights and taking down the shadows and we can already see that by the end of it, it's looking like a much better photo and everything is well exposed for. So this is option number one, where I said we would correct for the bright sunlight and really high contrast and by doing so, I brought down the contrast, brought down the highlights and brought up the shadows. Like I said, the rest is up to you and you can go wild with the photo. For the sake of making this photo look pretty, I'm just gonna throw in a quick preset from my preset pack and just do what I said I would do right now to make the final adjustments. 
Like I said, the second method is to really use the contrast and the harsh light to your advantage, find sharp shadows when going out to shoot and really exaggerate this contrast in your edit. So I'm gonna be using this photo of Quinn with the solid shadow line coming through half of her face. So what we're gonna do is start by bringing up the contrast quite a bit. I'm gonna bring it up to around 20. And then from there, I'm gonna bring the highlights down just so we retain that detail in the highlights, not losing it to the high contrast and losing the detail of the skin. I'm then just gonna bring the whites up a little bit just to compensate for that so that we don't make the photo look too dark. But following that, I'm gonna bring the shadows down quite a bit. And already we can see how this contrast is really coming into play with the light and dark side of Quinn's face. I'm gonna add a few touch-ups really quickly to this photo just to make it look a little bit better. I also like to add lots of grain to my really contrasty dark photos. This is just my personal preference, but like with the first one, you guys can go wild with the creativity, but this is just something that's really quick and easy to do. And it creates a really interesting, unique look and feel to your photos. So if we look at it side by side, we can see that the first one is quite well exposed and we can see both parts of Quinn's face where the second one is a lot more contrasty and it really pushes the photo, making it a really strong image with the edits. So you can apply these two methods to any of your bright photos it really just depends on the situation that you find yourself in if you do have high contrast in your shot then you can really use this to your advantage if not then you can rather go with the correction method where you make sure everything is exposed properly and you come out with a nice clean cut final image so just some final remarks for editing photos taken in really bright sunlight i would for the most part suggest that you bring your highlights almost all the way down as well as bringing your shadows up you can then compensate for this with the whites and blacks as well as the tone curve to give you a good final image and there we have it that is how to edit your blown up sunshine photos so now you can go out there enjoy the bright sunny days and shoot away and you don't have to worry too much about what happens after that obviously you still have to think about it to some extent and that is why i suggest at least thinking about how you want to take your shots when shooting in bright sun either embrace that fully and really look for sharp harsh shadows to enhance that contrasty look to the shots or just avoid the sun completely i did make a video a few weeks ago if you want to go check that out on how to shoot in bright sunlight so some of you might find that really helpful i'll put the link in the description as well so there you have it i hope you guys have learned something i hope you all enjoyed this video please let me know if you did like it down in the comments below or if you guys have any of your own tips that I miss, cause I would like to learn as well. I'm sure there's some things that I don't know that you guys know and other people around the world also don't know. So let's start a whole chat down in the comments below and see what creative things we can come up with for beating the harsh midday sun photo shoots. I almost forgot about that I think. Can you guys do it? Let me know down in the comments cause uh, I wanna know. I wanna see how many of you can do that little trick. It's pretty easy once you got it, but try it out and let me know. So that is once and for all finally going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do let me know if you have any other ideas for tutorials that you'd like to see in the future. I'm always looking for new fresh ideas. So get creative and let me know down below and I'll definitely try my best to get that out to you guys. In saying that, if you did like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for new tutorials every single week. And in the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.